Hi there, Toy here, and it's time to count our blessings. So if you don't know what's going on in the world right now, you're either blessed in a way that the rest of us cannot imagine or you need help immediately and you need to send out an SOS. So beyond that, we all kind of know what's going on in the world. So today, um, this post is like way late. I should have been doing these all along. Um, if you're following me on social media at all or my blog, you kind of know a little bit of this. But this is me counting my blessings in the midst of this um, COVID crisis. And um, today is Easter, so happy Resurrection Day to all my brothers and sisters of Christ. Um, for everyone else, hopefully you're having a happy spring day if you're in the northern hemisphere. I guess it's winter down south. I can't remember how the science works right now. My brain is mush because of dealing with everything that's been going on. But um, I came here to count my blessings, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, in a lot of places, you know, are shut down. People are social distancing. Um, a lot of people are kind of fighting it, you know. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. Human beings seem to always have the capacity to find something to argue about. You know, people saying, you know, it's not that bad. It's only affecting certain people. It's the government doing it. <laughs> Whatever the reason may be, people will find things to, you know, argue about. But also... These are those moments where people have the capacity to also show the compassion that's in each and every one of us. Um, some of us are very good at stamping it down and holding out and just, you know, being hateful. But the rest of us are like, this is the time where we need to let our compassion come out. And there have been so many great stories about people helping other people. And those are the things that are kind of keep giving me hope right now because um, as horrible as humanity can be, it can also be really wonderful. And especially on a day like today, when I know that um, my faith has helped, has helped me a lot to get through this. Um, I've been, you know, reading my devotionals a lot more and trying to, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and claim to be the perfect Christian in any way whatsoever. I even wish there was a better term because there's a lot of people out there who call themselves Christians who aren't, but that's, another topic for another day but um I just know that it's been difficult to kind of reconcile a lot of feelings that I have as a human being you know to, um, to what you know I believe and so anyway the point is is at the end of the day I'm still here if you're watching this you're still here human beings all over the planet are dying but we're still here we're blessed um, furthermore, a lot of people right now are out of work, you know, they have limited resources and things like that. And I personally am blessed because, um, after my doctor cleared me to work, because I am someone who might usually be considered at risk. Um, I have a history of asthma, but I'm very healthy right now and, um, I've been able to continue working and that's a great blessing. Um, my husband is not happy about it. He's very freaked out about it. He, he's being so wonderful. He's taken on a lot of extra responsibilities around the house. You know, he's literally letting me go to work and come home and that's it. <laughs> and I, and I get it, you know, um, he, he really liked the fact that I made us some, some masks to wear out and I'll put some pictures of, the, of those up. But um, I'm blessed because I'm able to make an income at a time where a lot of people aren't. I'm blessed because my family has been very supportive um, of everything that's been happening. You know, no, no one likes it, but it's easier to kind of do the right thing than to just constantly fight against it and risk putting yourself and other people in harm and danger. And I think that's really great for everyone who's doing their part to help get through this. Um, our government has, in the U.S. at least, I can't speak for other countries, has uh, fallen short in a lot of ways, and um, they're kind of, you know, picking up the pieces and offering support and relief where they can. So I will say, you know, that we are blessed for that, but some of it, for some people, might be a little too late. But regardless, um, something is currently being done, even if it's not 
what we would like. It's not happening as fast as we like. Um, again, we're all human. I'm not giving excuses for things, but I'm just saying that we're human. We're still here. We could be wiped off the planet by now, but we're not. We're still here. And so today I'm counting my blessings. I hope you are too. Um, I'm going to try to put myself out there more on social media, probably like on Facebook or Instagram or something to reach out to more people. Because I feel like now more than ever, people need to connect, especially since we can't leave our homes most of the time. So I'm going to try to do that. Regardless, this has been probably the longest counting my blessings I've posted. I don't know, maybe not. It just feels long. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Hope you guys are staying home, staying safe. Um, hope you have the things that you need if you don't. You know, reach out, put out an SOS. You'd be amazed of the capacity of the humans around you who could probably help you if you need it. And um, I want to say for all of those people out there who are believers, and even those who are not, maybe you don't believe what I believe, but you are a compassionate human being, just keep all of those people in your thoughts and prayers who are home right now and they're dealing with domestic abuse and violence and a drug addiction you know all the kids who are home right now who would normally go to school to have meals and have a safe place the world is changing and um some of it's for the good but a lot of it is very scary right now we don't know what's going to happen you know once we get through all this and hopefully the world will be a better place for it but for right now just keep all the people who are struggling right now in your thoughts and prayers and just count your blessings because I'm blessed and I hope you are too. Bye for now.